What's going on, YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the site, you've come to the right place. So I just found out about this thing called nihilism. When I first heard about it, I thought it had something to do with Egypt, but apparently it's some sort of ideology. Dictionary definition, nihilism, the rejection of all religious and moral principles in the belief that life is meaningless. Now, obviously, Google definition ain't gonna do the whole thing much justice, but let's face it, either way, I'm gonna have wannabe philosophers in my comment sections going like, no, 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 Slick, you got it all wrong. See, that ain't real nihilism. Just like how people say, oh, that ain't real communism or socialism. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Anyways, I found out about this whole thing because this here comic kind of went trending on Twitter. Not many people know this, but 12 years ago, I wrote a children's book. It sat in the vault, unreleased for over a decade before I commissioned House of Decline to illustrate it for me. For the first time ever, I present You Are Not Special. There are billions of people just like you. Many of them are smarter than you. More creative too. Some people are good at math. Some people are good at making music. You are good at neither. Anything you can do, someone else can do better. Your opinions are not unique. Everything you know about life, you stole from someone else. Most of it is wrong anyhow. You could make a difference or bring a smile to someone's face, but probably not. No one will remember you after you die, because you are not special. So that's the comic, and <laughs> my god, you could not get more edgy if you tried. Am I on Twitter, or am I on Reddit? Now, funniest thing to me is, the art for this was commissioned, right? You paid for someone to draw this for you, and it's, but I, I think just about anyone could boot up Microsoft Paint and come out with a similar uh, art style. You know, I feel like this strip would have something going for it if it ended on a more positive note, right? Like, oh, sure, you might not do much to change the world, but that's okay. Okay, just live life the way you wanna. But no, it has this depressing ending. You know, I just imagine the author being that stereotype of a smug, fedora-wearing atheist, right? Now, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna say, Oh, no, Slick, you're missing the point of the comic. The point of the comic is that this is an absurd way of thinking, and this comic is poking fun at it. Well, it can't really be satire because, well, the satire just ain't obvious. The intent and punchline of satire has to be clear in order for it to work. If you're just repeating talking points from actual knowledge, or at least I presume them to be, that don't really work, does it? The intent and punchline of satire has to be clear in order for it to work. You know, it would be like me trying to make fun of punks, right? Punk rock by dressing up in leather and getting a horrendous haircut. Wait a second. That ain't making fun of punks because you're doing everything a punk would do. The joke here seems to be that everything in this comic is true, but it's presented as a child's book, right? And even though that, you know, again, everything in the book is true, you wouldn't actually tell it to a child. That's the joke. Uh, hell, the artist himself even says this. I think people are missing the joke. You see, this would be a bad thing to say to children. You should not go up to children and remind them of their ultimate insignificance. And I feel like the only thing you can really take away from this comic is that life is meaningless and there's no point to it, right? Oh, Slick, you're jumping to conclusions. They don't say that directly, you dig? Well, how else are you really supposed to interpret this comic? You can't make a comic about the ultimate meaningless of life if you ain't indeed trying to say that life is meaningless. And herein lies my problem with this here ideology that I just found out about. Apparently there's this group of people in, in the nihilist space with this thought that life is meaningless and there's no point to it. Now, this is something I'd expect to hear from someone before they leaped off of the Golden Gate Bridge, but no, apparently this is something that smug pricks online argue about. My only thought to it is, if life is meaningless, why don't you just kill yourself? I mean, hell, according to your logic, that would seem like the next best logical step, right? Why continue to live in a world that just don't matter? And I feel like the thing with that question is, you can't really give it an answer without defeating your own reasoning. Any answer you give for that question is kind of proof that, to some extent, life does have meaning to you. For example, if someone were to say, oh, I would kill myself, but it would hurt, right? Well, alright, obviously, life has to have some sort of meaning if the pain of death doesn't outweigh continuing to live. And really, let's face it. If I held a gun up to your head, according to you, it wouldn't really matter if I pulled the trigger. After all, life is meaningless, right? But I'd bet my boots you'd get on your knees and beg me not to pull that trigger. Because as much as you guys want to go out about how meaningless life is, it seems to have just enough meaning for you to want to continue to live. Funny thing is, the writer actually kind of responded to that point. Someone says, great book, Steve. I'm gonna go kill myself now. And the guy responds, thank you and please don't. And someone else responds, 
responded with my thoughts exactly. Genuinely, why not? You have provided every reason to do it right here, so why not? Not that I don't have my reason to not to, I believe every person is more valuable than anything in the universe combined, but I want something from you. There's more to life than being special. That's what the writer says, I guess, which doesn't really work because, because that's obviously not the message the comic was getting across. Nowhere in this book does it say, oh, there's more to life than being special. Seems to me you're just trying to cover your hua because people are making fun of you for making a dumb comic. All right, all this talk about death and suicide is too dark for my taste. I want to wrap this video up. I think all these knowledge are just losers who ain't never going outside, ain't never try to get no friends, get a job, or, or go on an adventure and follow their dreams. They just sit inside of their rooms, taken from the government dole, sitting in front of them computer screens with no other ambitions than to post dumb comics on the internet. No wonder these guys are so depressed. And you know what? I think that makes these people bitter. They ain't never done anything with their lives, so they're bitter about being miserable. And so they want other people to be just as miserable as they are, so they make a dumb ideology so they can smugly shove in your face about how pointless life is. Well, fooey I say fooey. Just because your life's miserable, don't mean that mine has to be. But I guess that's all I've got for this shtick. So you guys do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you, thank you very much.